Hey everyone, Lou here. A lot of you guys really loved my video talking about lost anime. Some of you even DMing me on Twitter asking for more. Since all of you loved that video so much, I think it's time to finally talk about some more lost anime. So, roll the intro and let's get started. <laughs> Doraemon Anime. Now, Doraemon is a pretty popular manga and later anime that is a huge series in Japan. It's so popular that allegedly Doraemon is more recognizable than Mickey Mouse in Japan. Again, that's alleged. I mean, I don't live in Japan, but that's insane if he's recognized more than that capitalistic mouse. Although many of you, the 1979 to 2005 anime as the first adaptation of that blue cat thingy, there was actually a series from 1973 that was the first Doraemon anime. It was about 26 episodes, which is the older format for children's shows, which contained two episodes in a 30 minute special, at least according to what I've been reading, as the wording is a little strange here. The series did pretty well and was actually considered to continue into 1974, but budget issues caused problems that they ultimately had to cancel the series. Although most anime of Doraemon's caliber are stored and archived by the production company, the studio in charge, known at the time as NTV, had gotten a new president who didn't really think Doraemon was worth saving. Now, some say all of Doraemon 1973 was destroyed by the staff, and have gone on record to say that they weren't, and in 1995, a handful of episodes were found, along with two others that were only audio tracks. Apparently, these lost episodes are shown exclusively at Doraemon conventions, but these episodes have not made their way to a proper home media release or even online, even someone's shitty cam of it. Now, apparently, for a very short time in 1979, a few of the lost episodes were aired but quickly pulled as to not confuse the younger audience of Doraemon on what they were watching. Now, according to the chief of production of the 1973 anime, he has quite a few episodes of the original series and has tried to get them out online, but for the most part, he is legally not allowed to do so until the Doraemon anime stops airing. Considering the current series has been going on since 2005, I doubt he'll ever be able to show it anytime soon. So for now, Doraemon 1973 remains lost. Golden Kids. This is based off a popular manga from the 1980s by Yuichi Takahashi called Captain Tsubasa. This anime is basically about a bunch of high school soccer players in Japan who lost 22 games in a row and basically showing their troubles and trying to be better soccer players. As weird as this is for an anime in 2011, as we didn't have things like Crunchyroll and Funimation like we do now, a paywall was made where you had to pay $3 per episode, so that's kind of insane. It was also subbed and dubbed into English as well. Only two episodes of this anime were released due to the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami which halted production of a lot of anime at the time, and this was one of them. Apparently, it had more episodes made than just the first two, but it's kind of hard to say as we don't know their production schedule, and only the first two episodes were ever released. The app this anime was hosted on has since been removed from the app store, along with all their social media going dead. Apparently, only the first episode is available on YouTube in English, and that's about it. The second episode still hasn't been found and it's unknown if there were ever any more episodes or released or anything. Which is a shame, even though I don't personally like sports like soccer, this would have been a really cute and wholesome underdog story. Cleopatra by Osamu Tezuka. Right, so the godfather of anime, creator of huge anime series like Dororo, Princess Knight, Astro Boy, Kimba the White Lion, and Tetsujin 28. This is apparently a movie he made that has mostly been lost. So the movie was made in 1970 and is basically a hentai. Not much is known about the movie's plot other than it was basically an early version of hentai with several sex scenes, nudity, and apparently extreme violence, which which was all extremely rare to have at the time in anime. I mean, I say hentai, but apparently it's not, which is weird because it lines up with one, but I'm calling it that for simplicity's sake. This was pre Gonagai era of Japan, so anime and manga having ultra violence and sexual themes and all that was extremely rare and unheard of. Now, this movie did arrive for a short period.
period of time in the US in 1972, but was given an X rating and although X rated movies like Fritz the Cat did well, I'm assuming this bombed hard. According to Lost Media Wiki, some sources can be found for a possible English dub, but one hasn't surfaced so we all know that there is most likely just a subtitled version. For a time, the movie was available for free on YouTube without any subtitles, but was likened taken down due to all the violence and graphic content. I'm assuming this was like 2013 or 2014 YouTube where adult content like that was pretty easy to find. I think at least a handful of us remember seeing the abomination that is Yosugo no Sora on this hell site. Now, apparently in 2018, a DVD was released featuring the movie, but it was never uploaded anywhere, and only a trailer has been posted, and no one has made an attempt to upload anything of this movie. I saw the trailer myself, and it's kind of weird to think Osamu Tezuka made this movie, to be honest. Considering outside of Dororo, his stories had a tendency to be very child-friendly. It's kind of like watching Walt Disney make something like 300, I guess. It's kind of weird, but also really interesting at the same time. I kind of hope this movie gets found only because I think it's an important piece of media in the history of anime and part of the legacy that is Osamu Tezuka. Jojo's Bizarre Adventures? Battle Tendency movie. I just wanted to give a quick update for this movie in this video as I did pin it in the comment section of my previous Lost Media video, but I still wanted to talk about it in case people didn't see the previous one or they didn't read the comment, which is fine. Now, according to a Reddit post, a movie was planned for the second arc of JoJo's called Battle Tendency. We don't know how far into development this went, but a user shared the storyboards for the film and considering we see Caesar and the Wamu fight, I'm assuming it went pretty far into development, especially when the storyboards looked pretty finalized. This movie was ultimately cancelled though. The movie was made by the same people behind the Phantom Blood movie, which Araki hated so much that he doesn't want the public to see this movie, and I don't blame him because they left out Speedwagon. However, for some strange reason, Speedwagon is in this movie, which doesn't make any sense because he wasn't in the first movie, so that's a big confusing moment there for people who were only gonna watch these movies. It's completely unknown if there's any test footage or coloring, which is a shame now that I looked at all the storyboards as it looked like it would have been a decently faithful adaptation of Battle Tendency, which is weird because Phantom Blood did not have the spirit of JoJo's at all in that one, so, I mean, it still looks a little too serious, as I don't see a single damn moment where Joseph is the ultimate himbo, but at least it looked like a decent step up, so I'm curious about it. And now for number one, the moment you've all been waiting for, various short films from Studio Ghibli's museum. There is a museum in Inokashira Park dedicated to all things Studio Ghibli. I'm sure you guys have seen this museum already from vlogs and anime YouTubers who actually live in Japan. Honestly, it's one of my biggest dreams to go to that museum. It just looks so cool. In this museum is a theater where you can view a series of short films that are all made by Studio Ghibli and some are even extensions of their other films like My Neighbor Totoro. All these films are unable to be viewed online and can only be viewed in that museum, which is a shame. There are a total of nine shorts all listed here on screen. Of those nine shorts, only two of them were uploaded online. However, of those two shorts, it looks like one of them can be viewed and even then the quality is not that great. It's a cam someone took inside the museum so the quality is absolute ass. I really do hope these shorts will someday see the light of day though, especially now since the museum is temporarily closed due to a certain issue going on in the world that apparently I can't say on YouTube without issues because YouTube is just that kind of place, fam. That would be it though. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. This was a pretty difficult one to make just because it was pretty hard to find lost anime in general. A lot of quote lost anime is usually just English dubs, which is interesting, but I don't really count it as lost anime since like you can still watch the anime in full just with a different dub or subtitles. Also, you know, American adaptations of anime like Sailor Moon, but a large majority of those never saw the light of day, which is a damn good thing, but also they technically don't count because they are American animation and not anime. But either way, let me know down below what you guys think and maybe some of you could even help me find some more lost anime. Since you guys love videos like this, I would really love to talk more about lost media like this. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching! If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new! And if any older new subs would like to help support the channel in any possible way, my Kofi page is down below in the description along with all of my social media. For any subscribers, new or old, who would like to help with video ideas or maybe just want to talk about anime or something, then I have a fan server linked down below. See you next time!